So we've set up the stable for whatever the pony is going to be called. She's got her water, straw. The floor has been disinfected with lime. And so she, we're awaiting her arrival tomorrow. Her stable is now ready for her arrival. And I've got this gate instead of the door because the door she wouldn't be able to see over, but the gate she'll be able to see through. So she'll be able to see life going on, but she has to quarantine because she's probably not had any of her vaccinations or anything. So she can't meet my horses for a period of time. So this is her stable and there's swallow nests in here. I don't quite know where, but I see them flying in and out. And she'll be able to see, whoops, I'm stepping on some of the tools. She'll be able to see life passing by in the yard as I'm going to and fro as are others. So she won't be totally bored to tears, little pony. together halter okay this is uh whoever you're going to end up being you're very small aren't you definitely small with a very blondy looking hairdo okay we can go that way and um to her new accommodations her um quarantine accommodations poor girl you can see she's quite lame but not surprised with those feet. Here, come on. Come on, girl. It's painful, I'd say. Okay, so come here. Your head collar says Rosie on one side and Daisy on the other. So maybe you're a rosy Daisy or a Daisy Rosie. We don't know, but we're still very sore even though we have our short feet. Our feet are now trimmed and uh, you're being amused. <laughs> yes, almost your twin. It is actually your twin. Bear, it's almost your twin. <laughs> Her feet have been done. That's fantastic. So her feet won't need to be done. That's good stuff. Okay, now, baby, we're going to go to your new accommodations. We're still okay, sold. time for entrance to our new stable. Our quarantine stable. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> she has never been indoors. And we gather now she's about 15 years old, not five. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're very sore feet. Yeah. Daisy, Rosie, Rosie Daisy. Who's already in your accommodations? I'd say it's, yeah, Inca. Inca's testing out. Is it good stuff in there, Inca? There we go. You're very tiny. Yep. <laughs> hey, girly pearly, how are you? This is all very new, isn't it? She's still so sore. She just, her feet, you can feel from her body language that her feet are uncomfortable. But thankfully, the people who really knew the old lady who died got a farrier to trim her feet before she came to her new home. They were so pleased that she wasn't going to have to be put down. So she's got her new home. She came originally from Ballinasloe Horse Sales and kept this lovely old lady up in the mountains company for years and years and years. She's 14 years old, so I'm told by a horse dentist expert. So a 14 year old tiny little pony. I hope you're gonna enjoy your new home.
And I'm sorry you have to be inside for the moment, but I have to quarantine you and you have to have your vaccinations before you meet the other horses or go outside. So apologies, but you'll get loads of attention. There's loads of children coming to talk to you over the next few days because they're so pleased to hear there's a friendly Shetland pony in the neighborhood. Yes, you sweet girl. Little Miss has settled down very happily in her straw bedding. Very comfortable off her legs. It's interesting. I think her legs are out front, are they? Or did she tuck them under? No, she has them stretched out in front of her. They're in this straw here. So she's very uncomfortable. Uh, at the moment, she's fine. She's uncomfortable standing. Okay, we're going to leave you be. No, 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 don't get up. We're going to leave you be. See you later.